welcome all to a new series. I'm going to be playing Pokemon Emerald version, but not just playing, doing a normal playthrough of Pokemon Emerald, I'm going to be doing a Nuzlocke. So let's get started. Yeah, yeah. Internal batteries run dry, can't, game can't, can be played, clock-based events. There aren't really clock-based events in this game, though. Like, third gen's my va favorite, and, well, you'll see. But yeah, I'm going to be doing voice voice acting and narration for the different characters. So, let's do this, shall we? I'll exp I'll probably explain the rules of the Nuzlocke in the description if anyone's curious as to how it works. So let's go. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. So you use them for slave labor? Okay. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are. Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Obviously I'm a dude. Alright, what's your name? Well, obviously, we're gonna go and name ourselves after the channel. Under my alias, Shadow. Because I can't fit the E-H. So it's Shadow? Oh, okay. Your Shadow, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Shadow, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you, get your own room, Shadow. Let's go inside. See, Shadow? It isn't nice in here, too. The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Shadow, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here, which it won't matter because there's no clock-based events, but yeah. Don't forget to set it. Shadow, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving every everything do in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. We don't really need to do that, it's just a tutorial. Oh, Shadow, Shadow, quick, come quickly. Look, it's Petalbert Gym, maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from in front of Petalbert Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name? He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Alright, so let's... Obviously, for people that don't know this game, we're going to go see May. Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're Shadow, our new next-door neighbor? Hi! We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. So obviously I'm gonna do some dumb voice for her. Because <laughs> we'll see her a lot in the series. Huh? <laughs> or, I'm sorry. Huh? Who, who are you? Oh, you're Shadow. So your move was today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. Um, I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. 
I, I heard about you, Shadow, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Shadow, and that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I, I just met you, Shadow. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Shadow, I'll catch you later. I know I totally sounded like a monkey, but who cares? <laughs> We're having fun. Alright, let's go see what Professor Birch is up to. Um, hi! There are scary Pokemon outside, I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Help me! Hello, you over there! Please help! In my bag, there's a Pokeball! Okay, so I'm thinking to make this easy going with Mudkip. We good? Alright. Let's start it. Also, I'm a huge fan of water types in case people haven't guessed yet. Go, Mudkip! Tackle. Okay, so basically this is going to be my first Pokemon I get. It doesn't really count toward my um, Pokemon count for this route, because I'm going to be getting it in the town. So, but yeah, I'll ex like I said, I'll explain that in the description. Phew! I was in the tall grass struggling while Pokemon... Er, Ugh, let me re redo that. <laughs> I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Shadow. This is not the place to chat, so come by my lab later, okay? Random teleports. So, Shadow, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. Or well, however you pronounce that. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Shadow, I received Mudkip. While you're at it, why not give it a nickname to that Mudkip? Okay, so the one of the rules of this challenge is to... I have to nickname all of my Pokemon, just so, like, it has some sort of deep personal connection to me. That way, like, when it dies, like, I'll actually feel something. But yeah, uh, let's see. I'm not gonna name it after my subscribers or any... or my friends. That would be a little too much stress on me. So let's see. We're gonna go with what my brother used to name it, and that's gonna be... Kipper. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Shadow, don't you think it may be a good idea to go see May? No. <laughs> Great! May should be happy too! Get May to teach you what it means to be a tra- Let's see the Pokemon found on Route 113. Oh, hi, Shadow. Oh, I see my dad. He gave you Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Okay, first battle with May. Obviously, we're gonna have the disadvantage, because the rivals mean like that. But luckily, it's level 5, it doesn't have any grass moves yet. Alright, so it's gonna be a pound and tackle fest. Dang it, I missed. Hopefully, no crits. Let's use a potion just to be safe. So I'm at the mercy of the Nuzlocke RNG. Alright. Got it. 
Level 7. Yay. Defeat of May. Wow, that's great. Shadow, you're pretty good. 300 polka dollars for winning. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to prevent any Pokemon kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Okay, so I think once I get my Pokeballs, I'm going to cut it. That seems like a safe bet. So we're going to heal first. Obviously, I'm not going to read Nurse Joy's lines, because it's always the same. Shadow, over here. Let's hurry home. Oh. I am King Kong. I talk to you. I am like Monkey. Hopefully you guys don't hear my roommates in the background. Okay. Oh, hi, Shadow. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Shadow, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokémon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokémon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, May looks for me while I'm out doing fieldwork and shows me. Oh, wow, Shadow. You got a Pokedex, too. That's great. Just like me, I've got something for you, too. And now we got Pokeballs. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. What, are you going to go find some chimp chimpanzees for your monkey army? Alright. So, like I said... It's probably a good place to stop. Okay. Get out of my way! Oh, right. Wait, Shadow! Shadow, Shadow! Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokémon! You got it from Professor Birch! How nice! You're your father's child, alright. You look good together with Pokémon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They're put a zip in your step. Yay! Shadow, those shoes can came with instructions. Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these shoes and race in the great outdoors. To think that you have your very own Pokémon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on, go get them, honey. Okay. So, this is probably a good place to stop episode 1. Alright, so that's all for episode 1 of Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will be sure to make more. Hope you like it. See you all around. Bye!